What's going on guys, well we're just back again with another video straight after the game match review where Chelsea have beaten West Ham 2-0. Before getting into the video, make sure you smash the like button, get me to at least 100 likes and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to stay all tuned while we're Chelsea. What a vital win. I'll be honest, at 1-0 I was worried. West Ham dominated our second half in my opinion. Possession, pressure, everything was there. But let's talk about Eden Hazard. Whether he goes or not in the summer, my word, that goal. Describe it. Everyone in the comments below now, just, just describe that goal. Five man. I saw it from every angle and from every camera angle they showed, it got better and better. I was thinking goal of the month. I'm not sure if it's goal of the season, but let me know in the comments below your reaction to that goal. Because for me, it was class. And whether he goes or not, honestly, thank you for everything, man. This is why he is the difference in the team right now. Two goals for him today. World class. Best player in the league. I'm going to say it again. Best player in the league, man. Typical. Second goal. Ross Barkley. Credit to him. He doesn't get enough praise in my eyes. So well done to him. Everyone wanted him to shoot. He saw the pass. Secured the game. Why risk it? We were missing many chances before that. Um, Pedro's pass to Giroud, uh, Hudson Doy for Barkley, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let's talk about the lineup. Another fantastic lineup, I'm sorry. It's obvious now in the Europa League, um, Hudson Doy, Loftus-Cheek will be arrested for sure, where Barkley, Kovacic, uh, William Pedro will be playing. Um, I was a bit disappointed Christensen didn't start today, but nevertheless, to see the two players like we've been talking about, we wanted them to start, and they started today, guys. Um, I think in the first half, it was very, very good. I think Kante, for me, was the best player in that first half. He was doing nice flicks, shooting the ball, you know, setting up back heels, everything. He had, his overall game has just improved on the Sarri in my eyes. And, you know, I've got to give credit to Sarri for that because he's changed him into a player that I never imagined him before this season. I'm being honest now. I've always seen him as a defensive midfielder, like, you know, staying back, winning the ball back. But now... His overall game is getting better and better, and I just love it. Um, well, Hassan Adoy, I think first off, uh, was good in my eyes. Uh, sometimes he didn't track back as much, but there were many moments in the first off where he tracked back a lot. And for me, he's still improving his game. He's still learning a lot. I think second start in Premier League, he's going to learn a lot more. Um, in the second half, I felt he disappeared. Maybe it's tiredness, I'm not sure. But the second half, we didn't have the ball. He wasn't tracking back as much in my eyes. I didn't think he was that good. Um, but credit to Sorry that left him on as late as possible, really. So he gave him as much minutes as possible. But um, in the first half, he was quality offensively as well. Yeah. Everyone was good in the first half. I want to see Chelsea kill off the game in the first half. I need to see 2-0 in the first half. I don't want to see only 1-0 and then we get pressure in the second half mentality issue again and then boom West Ham coming back strong because West Ham in the first half did nothing but in the second half they came back I was worried I think 10-15 minutes they were all over us literally all over us I was worried I thought we were going to bottle it we are now third in the league you know you asked me three weeks ago would you ever see this no I wouldn't I told you guys I would focus on Europa League we are now third Europa League in our hands, basically, with the lineup they want to play. Um, you guys got Loftus Cheek, Hassan Doy starting. Obviously, Christensen should start on Thursday. Um, and let's see what happens because when Hassan Doy and Loftus Cheek get rested for Thursday, are they going to start against Liverpool? And if they do, then that's a big message from Sorry. That is a big message. But yeah, um, overall, defensively, I think Rudiger did good in my eyes um you know i've been very critical of him recently but i think this game he done well i saw a lot of passion a lot of hustle passion if you don't know then you know um obviously i told you guys like if i post my trim if i post my food whatever it is i've been getting the predictions right i said two nil i told you guys two nil here it is two nil and every time i've been posting these photos and and trims and stuff we win so it's another masterclass for me. I'm being honest now, so I'm happy, man. But yeah, 
I want to hear your man the match. Obviously, everyone's going to say Hazard because he scored two goals. But, you know, in the first half, I felt Kante, he done very good. He's been getting a lot of criticism recently from some sections of Chelsea fans on Twitter. But I think today, he's silenced them, basically. I know i got one good friend, Vish. Uh, he's not the Kante biggest fan. But today, he was like, yeah, I put my hands up. He done well, so respect for that, man. That's what I want to see in Chelsea community. We need to see positive outcomes because we're not out of anything still top four third place so far europa league we can end on high we can end on high don't forget guys april 11th the appeal against fifa the ban whatever happens we'll go to ces if it doesn't go right and hopefully we can buy some players in the summer um and also obviously lewis campos talks people saying in my previous video bid 10 million for him <laughs> i told you guys 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, I don't care what it is, bring these players in. But yeah, today's game was important. We have three games in six days. This is the first one out of the way. Thursday, I'm looking forward to it, man. But yeah, the buzz before this game was there, man. It was there. The lineup, everything. Um, one thing I want to point out Zola was speaking to Colin Hudson Dojo in the game, saying, Come close to the opponent, drifting away a little bit. See, these things. Show us why maybe Sorry was critical and not starting him in every single game. Obviously, it shouldn't take 30 games. So that, don't get, get me wrong at all. Um, we should have been showing this ages ago for him to learn these stuff, of course. But I honestly feel the mentality of Hudson Doe will be improving from this. Just remember, he's a young kid. He's got so much potential. These coaches, managers know more. And as long as we keep winning and he gets the advice... He will stay. I'm sure he will stay. Especially if Hazard goes, he will stay. Now I want to talk about the chances that Chelsea had. I couldn't believe it. Like Loftus Cheek, he was so direct. He does all the hard bits. All the hard bits. But couldn't finish it. It must have been the rain or something because these men couldn't kick properly. Hazard nearly scored as well, yeah, but kind of Hazard got in the way. <laughs> Literally, it was so fun to watch Chelsea today. Like the last couple games, there's just been some life in Chelsea. I'm just happy. I'm just happy we got the win. I'm happy that we're third. I'm happy we still can get top four. I'm happy we can still get Europa League, win the trophy, get Champions League, and maybe some fans towards the end of the season will support Sarri a lot more because end of the day, yeah, it's taken him 30 games, but the season was already a Right off in a way of not winning the league, it was about getting top four and then rebuilding. Obviously, the team hasn't been there, but you can start from now, man. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that, of course. Obviously, it's early signs. It could change back to normal in two or three games. But if Sorry said Hudson Doe will be starting two or three games this se for the remaining of the season, he's already started two. I don't know, man. Would it, what you're telling me, he's not going to be playing the rest of the season now. Let's be real now. So, yeah, it was nice. Um, Arsenal dropped points yesterday. Um, perfect weekend. And now we've taken advantage. Monday, perfect day for me. Uh, obviously, usually it's depressing for everyone. No football, boring, want a day to get rid of. And then we've got the win. So, I want to hear your opinions on... Whether we should get top four and win Europa League, should we focus on Europa League or do you think we should just go all out for top four only? Let me know in the comments below and let me know your lineup for the next game against Slavia Prague. Um, I don't know what I'm going to expect. I expect everyone to be rested. Uh, Hugain, um to be rested. Drew to come on, uh, obviously to start his top scorer or joint top scorer and he should be getting more goals. William Pedro for sure. Um, Kovacic probably. And Barkley, and Vest Kante, and Lost of Sheep, hopefully. But it's good just to see these players get these minutes, man. Just to see. And shout out to Emerson. Emerson. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm not saying he's the best player for Chelsea, like left back and stuff, that we need him. But he's a lot better than Alonso. And even Asby, he's done okay. Like, I'm not going to be too critical of him. Clean sheet, 2 0. Let's be positive, man. No negatives today. No negatives. Yeah? So, obviously, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm happy, you lot are happy, 
smash the like button, give me at least 100 likes, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I post all my reviews straight after the game. Please check out always. If you miss it, check my Twitter. And yeah, transfer videos coming up hopefully in the next couple months. But yeah, well, watch us. I'm out. Peace.